everyone welcome back to the channel after a long time so let's go without wasting any time to learn some more things from python it's going to be very very fun so let's open pycharm the first and very important step right right or not <laughs> it's up to you <laughs> so let's open it first so let's do the basics first. So in today, I'm going to introduce you to a very, very basic, basic function. It is called print. So let's try the print function over here. And I'm going to put a single quote or you can put double quote, whichever you wish. Okay. If you need double quote, okay, double quote. Okay, fine. So I'm going to say hello world. So, you may ask, why did I put a single code over there? I put the single code so that I'm defining that as a string. A string is a type of data type, which is nothing but a sequence of characters. There are different data types like integers, floating point, string, and boolean. And string is a data type, which is nothing but a sequence of characters. Integers is a data type, which... As the name suggests, is nothing but the integers, and the floating point is a data type which contains floating digits or decimal digits in simple language, and Boolean is a data type which is nothing but true or false statement. Okay, so let's run this code and execute it. Okay, so as you can see. Hello world is being executed as I define. So this hello world is a string, right? But what happens if I remove this quotation? The quotation, if I do not have this quotation, it will be not considered a string and it will give me an error. So it is mandatory to put the quotes for a string. Right, you can either use single quotes or double quotes, it doesn't matter. So, let's explore some more data type. Let's say I'm gonna print, let's say an integer this time 11, then I'm gonna say I'm gonna print floating digits, let's say 1, 10, right? 10.0 or 10.5, maybe. Let's say a boolean print true. Boolean will be very interesting when we start looping statement. Until that, please subscribe to the channel to see the interesting things we can do with a looping thing. Looping is very interesting and be subscribed to see that. So let's execute this. And as you can see, this will be the outcome. So the first one is a string data type. The second one is Indigo, third one is a floating point, and finally the last one is nothing but a boolean. But how do I check whether it is a string or something? So we will see that in our next lecture, in our next part. This part just understand what is a data type, and as you notice that it executes line by line from this end of the thing, even though they don't have an error, as you can see. Did you see that? So it is nothing but what? An interpreter, right? Okay. Even if I give double quotes, error, it should give either completely single quotes or double quotes. Okay. Otherwise, you will see the error. So I have just proved you how it's going to work, right? So a Python interprets the code line by line and there are different data types. We have strings, integers, floating point and boolean. These are the four data types. We're going to use extensively these. Please crack this and enjoy using the print function. We're going to have a lot of fun in the upcoming week. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. 
subs to the channel would be great thank you and that's it